All right, let me tell you a little story. Here I am on a Thursday, minding my own business, just doing my snatches, sets of five, as we all like to do from, from time to time, just doing some high reps, you know, doing what we need to do, getting some high volume, start of a new mezzo, not mezzo, not macro cycle, just minding our own business, you know, worked up to 110 for set of five, nothing drastic, nothing, nothing crazy, and uh, all fine, unloaded the bar, proceeded on to my power cleans, 110 kilos, nothing, 50 kilos below my best, my best power clean. Next, third set, minding my own business, just doing my power cleans, no problem, then bam, <laughs> shot to the hamstring, arrow to the knee, uh, what I thought was a cramp was a little owie, um, that was four days ago, it's almost fully healed now, but who knows, it could have been a lot worse, Fitz was like, you need to do some hamstring work, yeah, well, I'll tell you what happened was I did four by eight um, RDLs in 90 kilos and uh, I had doms for two days and since then doing high rep snatches and high rep power cleans probably wasn't the best idea. You know what? I probably shouldn't have done four by eight at uh, 90 kilos after doing no direct hamstring work for months. So who's the fault lie with you say? Uh, Fitz, obviously. So here's yesterday's session, uh, two days after. It, I thought it was a cramp, but it might have been a minor pull. It's actually not a big deal. I'm just being dramatic. Can we just, uh, can we all just take a second and appreciate this lift that appeared on my YouTube feed there just as I was opening up my computer and it was just too good not to reshare. Just what I, there's very few lifts you can remember when you're watching them where they were and, uh, or where you were when you're watching it. And I remember being in the library in college watching this lift, 2014. Oh my good lord, this was amazing to watch. Um, there has not been a lift like this in the last six years. The only thing that's probably come mildly close is when Luz Arjun came back out and did that 207 at the 2019 Worlds. But other than that, this list was just, just, a, oh, just like, I was as happy as Ilya was that he made it. I think everybody was. It was amazing. Phenomenal watch. Unbelievable. All right. Here's my session. Nothing so exciting. Uh, so basically what was happening, I was warming up and I thought my hamstring was totally fine. But uh, it was just very minorly. I mean, minorly issue i'd practice some power snatches off the ground and it was only then that i actually noticed it was still kind of sore so i was like i'm at the very beginning of a phase so the dumbest thing i could do is keep annoying this and not give it the extra like two days it would need before it's totally fine again so I just practice power snatches uh i wanted to see what hurt and what didn't hurt so then i just i just checked out some uh snatch grip push press which didn't hurt i could almost feel it just a tiny little bit so I was like, nah, this is low enough that I can uh, I can load up this exercise a little bit and do something productive rather than just not doing anything at all. So then uh, I just checked out some no contact muscle snatch as well. I was just wondering would the very high hip, but, you know, no movement uh, annoy it, and it did. So then I just checked out squats, no pain on squats, snatch grip push press. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Uh, so I picked snatch grip push press. At the start of a, a new macro cycle, um, it's snatch grip push press is a very handy exercise very useful exercise if you are just looking for some general work if you have a weak overhead i can highly recommend snatch grip push press however i would say a word of caution um if you go too heavy with these uh, especially too frequently with these you can very likely lead some to some shoulder injuries they are uh particularly because you can get so heavy with them and it's such an extreme position with a snatch grip that if if you do them too frequently in the week, for example, and too much volume that you're not used to, if you just rush into it too soon, you can almost certainly end up with some kind of pain, which I have done to myself in the past. So I'd just be very, very careful with them. Uh, are useful exercise. I would keep them sub-maximal in relation to your snatch. Uh, don't even try to go near your max in these. There's literally no point. Uh, there's no benefit. I would use them higher reps. Uh, good exercise to practice dip and drive as well. So it uh, lets you just focus on dip and drive and not have a bar on your chest. So I'm just focusing on driving my knees out, getting a bit deeper and staying on my heels, which I have a problem doing on the uh, jerks. So because I am a jerk, um, I don't do it properly. So on these, not dip, dipping deep enough, uh, just some minor achiness. So should be dipping a little bit deeper than that, I feel. Uh, knees out is good, though, so a little bit better control on my knees. Probably a lot of squatting without knee sleeves has helped that, or no squatting at all with knee sleeves actually in months. So I just literally did something like four or five sets of like 
five, six, seven reps. Um, just got a high rep. A little bit of a shoulder pump. Not holding at the top too long because it's going to add some pressure and I don't have a weak overhead position. I'm just using the exercise as a general exercise. So it's a great little one for those. Try and be fast as possible with them. Uh, I don't hold a hook grip overhead as well, by the way. Uh, am I doing another set? I am doing another set. So this is so many sets. So again, obviously, I'm trying to look for volume. GPP, get a little bit of sweaty. Well, this is kind of, you know, fine line between GPP and like SPP, which would be special, but very sure uh, blah 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 so yeah it's it's uh it's a decent exercise again i really can't emphasize don't go too heavy with these just use them not as a bodybuilding exercise but you know you treat them as a sub maximal strength exercise and you'll get the benefit of them without going too heavy every now and then you can go a little bit heavier if you're if you feel secure but i wouldn't recommend it too much then right i wanted to see if i could do back squats because i plan to get up to 180 by 10 uh a top set on, on back squats on these squat sessions so I was like, just literally check it out. Now, luckily for me, my high bar back squat, which is my only squat, I don't have a low bar back squat. My high, my squat is 99.999998 reoccurring uh, quads. I use zero, I mean zero hamstring. I barely felt my hamstring at all. I felt my hamstring more in my dip and drive than in my high bar squat, which lets me know that in my power snatch, I'm using my hamstrings adequately, I suppose. And I am... Um, using only my uh my quads and my squats uh by the way right if your first thought is and you see me training is like oh your gym's so dirty that's why you're shit yeah i said that that's what i think um here's me just beating in the pins you know too often people uh that's a little bit facetious but um i just want you know to emphasize that if for example somebody good was watching this video the first thought wouldn't be Oh, that gym's kind of dirty. It wasn't even into their brain. So yeah, have a look at yourself. If that was your first thought, to comment something on my video like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know who you are. Um, Unless Clarence says it. Sometimes he says it too. Fuck you, Clarence, if you're watching. And then I just, I was like, this is what I do between sets is I usually look at my phone. And then I, I, I considered going 170 before 180, but then I was like absolutely freaking not. So I went straight to 180. Set of 10. I'm probably aiming to get up somewhere north of 210 in these. Hope, uh, maybe very likely 220 for sets of 10. Um, so they're feeling decent. My best tip for you for high bar, high rep back squats is to get over the midway as fast as possible. That way you've, you have, like the longer you have that bar on your back, just the worse it is. Like I try to get to like five or preferably six reps before really taking any kind of pause. And that really should be no issue for you. And then you can kind of take a look and get those rest of the sets done. So I ended up doing like, I think I got to like six here. Uh, felt quite good. So I'll just tip away next time, maybe 195, maybe 200, or I might just stay on 190 and get an extra set or two in. But uh, I fucking love high bar, high rep back squats. I don't know why I'm saying high bar. I keep meaning to say high rep. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yep, just grinding this one out. See you in a few days. Or tomorrow for paper review.